Okay, we're looking at uh, Guam Turn to Glory. This is a CSS system, which is the uh, company scale system. It is roughly based on GTS, um, which is really what I want to make this video about and several videos. I'm going to discuss um, not necessarily the differences, but I'm just going to explain how certain mechanisms in this game are handled and if you know GTS you can you'll be able to spot the differences straight away. The first thing we do have is we have command points and we have dispatch points. The only difference in that is in CSS the command point is called a direct command point. Um, that's pretty much where the similarities stop. We've got, um, you've got these tracking charts, which are very familiar to people who've played GTS. Instead of having one per division, you share them with multiple divisions, which I don't think is a very good idea. And also, instead of having two chits, you're dispatching command. There's a couple of other chits on there, which are totally unique to the uh, CSS system. Now... Your dispatch points, you get those in a different way. Basically, when your dispatch chit comes out of the draw cup, and it'll always be in the draw cup, you always have a direct chit, you are able to generate uh, direct commands. And this is a process similar to GCS. You take your command rating, your current command rating, and you um, roll a single dice like that, and then you halve it and round down. So that would be 1.5, rounded down to 1. And if you were doing the command rating for this Marine Brigade, you would get 5, 6 direct commands that would go on your track. So we just track them on here. Secondly, your dispatch points are also done slightly differently as well. You have a dispatch point rating. So I see the third in the division here is a dispatch point rating of three. If you're wondering why I've got these yellow dots on here, because if you look at the scenario things of the campaign, the actual values for the units are different. So I've just got the campaign starter values on here. Now I assume that's some sort of errata but anyway we'll leave that for the moment so you want to do your dispatch points what you do is you roll a dice if you get less than or equal to your dispatch rating you get three dispatch points and if you go above that you get one dispatch point so unlike gts you're always going to get a dispatch point you can't use command points to buy dispatch points like you can in some versions of gts Your dispatch points are specifically similar to GTS. They're used to actually uh, generate uh, draws in the formation cup. So if you want to do a, a divisional, if you've got a divisional chit, it would cost you two dispatch points to purchase it. Okay, but if you want formation chits, you can purchase them for one command point each. You can't purchase units for future turns like you can in GTS. It's totally different. You can only purchase them at the start of the turn. Now, if you buy uh, a divisional chit, your divisional fatigue marker, um, now your fatigue points will go up. And if you don't purchase a divisional uh, chit, they'll go down. Now, watch that. If those divisional fatigues get up too high, you can't purchase anything. So that's worth bearing that in mind. You need to control your divisional fatigue. That's a totally unique thing to CSS. And it's quite a nice thing that I like as well. The other thing you're seeing tracked on here is troop quality. Now, troop quality... Um, depends on various things it, it can change depending on your uh, your fatigue levels and things i think 
we go to the actual uh, starting phase if you check for your division fatigue um, if it's fatigue levels three or less you can increase your troop quality to up to the maximum allowed value which is on the uh, on the charts over there uh, if you have a fatigue level five or more your troop quality drops so you see you've got these two factors running against you unlike gts each unit doesn't have its own morale the morale is tracked against the, the actual formation itself which i think is a better system it's much more realistic it reflects how divisions that are in heavy fighting rapidly lose quality and through fatigue they lose the ability to do things okay that covers uh, dispatch and command uh, i can't think of anything else uh, oh yeah this Dispatch points, they are dependent on the weather in this game. If, if, you're, if it's hot, uh, this weather condition hot, you, spending your uh, command points costs double. Another thing in this game, um, you can spend a command point even if a unit isn't in command. To be in command, you've got to be in, within the command range of the division. So that's got like a command range of four or you've got to be adjacent to a leader in that division um, another thing to remember that in this game you can't purchase a second action unless you are in command right it's a much 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 more streamlined system than GTS uh, I honestly think it's a better system because it's, it's, you can't in GTS you, it's very difficult to memorize that little matrix of what you can and can't do which is quite a big matrix if you look at it on this game it's summed down to this little table here right, a table of six different now six, seven, eight, nine different things within in the three types of chits here. So it's a much, a much refined and I think better system than GTS. It's less confusing and it's easier to remember. Okay, that will do for your first little video on the CSS system.